motivation is important, but as for whether or not it's going to be like um, the only thing that you can rely on, it's very unreliable. But thank you for the people who are joining us today. We'll be talking about motivation. What is motivation? It's a question that I ask myself every fucking time. And sa tolong feeling ko, there are about a hundred definitions of motivation out there. Same for intelligence. I'm not sure kung may mga iba sa inyo na has looked or seen yung uh, yung lumalabas na parang one dot. Ang hiling nila sa one dot na yun. Pero syempre, marupok ako. Ang hiling ko makisali doon sa mga one dot na yun. Na, leave one dot, I'll tell you what kind of intelligence you have. There's no one definition of intelligence. Diba? So, we have yung mga uh, Gardner's multiple intelligence theory, meron yung mga Spearman's G, meron yung mga IQ, which are kind of okay. They're kind of okay overall. Pero they're, they're not gonna be able to like measure yung intelligence like whole na whole. And same for yung motivation. There's no one perspective on motivation. Kasi may mga iba na magkasabi na parang motivation is like anti, motivation is unlimited, uh, you just gotta believe, you just gotta do this, you just gotta do that. And I apologize if that sounds like a little too similar dun sa, <laughs> dun sa usual ko. Na parang katulad dun sa last episode. Na there is no one strict definition of what motivation can be, what mo- where motivation comes from. And I guess that just means na um, it's not a concrete thing that you can just keep drawing out from within yourself again and again. I don't know. Maybe that feels a little too negative. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean... Broadly speaking, there are two types of motivation na naman. Meron, well, yun yung salam ko ah. Please, nobody quote me on this kasi <laughs> kung makote ako nito and I end up in trouble for this, then, well, I guess I don't have a career anymore. <laughs> but, for yung motivation, there's going to be yung extrinsic and yung intrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is when your reason to do it comes from the act itself. Like, it, that yung act nun mismo is actually very fulfilling. You enjoy doing it for the sake of doing it. And you don't get something like a reward for doing that behavior. Well, behavior, big word. But, yun nga, yun yung intrinsic, diba? So, for example, uh, I do enjoy um, growing snake plants by yung window sale ko. I really enjoy it. Hindi ko din alam bakit. I mean, I'm not growing, pero lumalaki sila and nakatuwa. And, ayun. For, as for yung extrinsic motivation, you want to do that thing because you want to get yung reward or yung result from doing that thing over and over. Does that make sense? I guess it does. And I think for a lot of us, it's going. That, that that's probably like the main thing that like keeps us going for our jobs. For a lot of yung ginagawa natin, na parang uh, reward from doing it. Like say, I don't know. Is this gonna be a? Uh, is this gonna be an example na relatable? For example, for cosplay. This is gonna be controversial. Trigger warning. Um, pero feeling ko a lot of us, for example, um, really go for in cosplay because of yung uh, people who would like maybe shower us with compliments or comments or basang people appreciating our work. But when you're actually there, oh boy, I don't know if I've ever talked about how much I hate wigs on myself. Kasi sobrang, <laughs> sobrang init sa anit. Is that even the right term for it? But yeah, like it, it, it just it just gets really bothersome. 
Um, I don't know if any of you are feeling the exact same thing. You can write down in the comments about how you're feeling uh, lately. But so far, I've been experiencing like a severe lack of motivation in doing virtually anything. And that is a little worrying. <laughs> that is a little worrying. Because saying uh, for a lot of us, and I think for humans in general, the drive to actually go for something comes from motivation. It comes from getting the reward for doing something. That's what's going to drive you to do something. Kung wala yun, you're virtually not going to want to do anything. And that's what I've been kind of feeling most of the time now. Because <laughs> um, I don't really see much of a point if it's going to be the exact same thing again and again. I know people are going to tell me, uh, Ken, you should be, uh, you should be, uh, you should feel great, you should feel good for being able to actually feel that way because a lot of other people out there are suffering. Um, they don't have security of you know, employment nila and income for that matter. Yes. And that's a horrible, horrible situation. Pero sa totoo lang, it, that is what is like driving. That's what's driving. Uh, it's adding to yung nawawala na ako ng motivation. <laughs> Kasi nga, um, there's no point. Wow, this this has become the saddest stream, you know, and this is just like your second episode ever. <laughs> I've been starting to feel like there's real no real point to things because of everything. Does this make sense? I don't know if this makes sense. But uh, seeing the things out there that that's happening right now, it's really, really taking a toll on uh, mental health folk I just feel like uh, my body is getting thicker but my mind is getting sicker Parang, as I ever said earlier nga naman, na parang when you wake up again and again to the exact same thing and you start to kind of expect na it's gonna be the exact same thing for the next like two to three weeks for the next few months there's nothing to look forward to and I think a lot of us just start to grapple with that realization that before, we could cover it up with alcohol. We could cover it up with... Um, not that I not that I drink. Oh my god, if my parents saw this. Oh, this on now, parang ganun. But... Um, we used to be able to cover it up with a lot of things. Maybe for me, maybe I like the uh, whole cosplay thing where I meet a lot of friends from different fandoms and we just hang out. It's a great time, yes. Pero, ayun nga, parang now that we are forced to realize that we can't cover these things up and now we have to look inwards as to what our motivation may be or will to live nothing is, like, wow, it gets you really down. Wow! <sighs> this has become a sad stream. <laughs> but yes, um... Uh, please do comment naman, uh, if you guys have been feeling the same way. Maybe you guys can leave encouraging comments. Naging <laughs> encouraging comment. Uh, stream na lang na parang please cheer Ken up. I would like that. I read somewhere the motivation is unreliable, so one should rely on discipline instead, which doesn't make sense to me because how do you develop discipline without motivation? Excellent, excellent point. And one thing that I have always... Um, tried to say or um, I don't think I spouse is the right term for it uh, but I think motivation is what gets you going discipline is what keeps you going so siempre, if you've spent any amount of time in FB and especially if it's going to be like around January when everyone goes to the gym and they want to get you know, six pack abs and they want to get these buns you know sweat sacrifice success I probably didn't point that out in the right, in the right sequence um, motivation gets you going but there are those times when you will not feel motivated just like Ken is right now I'm recording this for posterity <laughs> 
<laughs> now in the future maybe maybe I'll have it all figured out but right at that time right at that situation right in that situation there were times that where you're going to just feel like shit I've gone so far I, I know I, I know maybe some of your even closest friends go but for, for those who are watching now who don't really regularly interact with me there were times when I went as far as saying that motivation is bullshit um but with context my explanation on the manjan kasi nga, um you can't constantly expect yourself to be at peak levels of motivation you can't expect yourself to for example always be crazy happy diba so bigat yung it's okay to not be okay because most of the time people are just okay in fact i would think you would have a problem if you're constantly really happy and energized you will not be invited to parties no <laughs> Um, but rather, I think you need you do need strong motivation. You need some strong motivation, either it's intrinsic or extrinsic, na, enough so that you would be able to develop some kind of conviction. Maybe it's some kind of um, big goal or belief, nga naman. And then when it becomes habit, and you keep going and going, despite sometimes nagdalag yung motivation mo then you'll reach a point where maybe you'd perform well enough na naman. And discipline is when discipline na yung parang mag take over from that point forward. I, I, I really think na naman na parang motivation is there to give you some boosts of um, productivity or um, like to really get going lang naman minsan. But overall, I don't think it's going to be very reliable. Because imagine mo how many people have you seen on FB I'm sorry, maybe some of you are my friends. <laughs> Pero, <laughs> medyo stop pa awake na lang yan. Na, uh, parang, I gotta get motivated today. Siyempre, magpo-post sila about it. <laughs> Tapos, they're gonna link some YouTube video about some guy uh, running up a hill or something. Sa sunset, maybe at dawn. And then, maybe they do like two or three workouts. Maybe they'll post it on social media. And I'm all for that. But that momentary motivation has to shift towards conviction and discipline or else you're gonna go back to how you were again. That's why they say minsan na fitness is a lifestyle or actually usually fitness is a lifestyle because consistency is what is key to developing anything. When it comes to a habit, uh, to achieving excellence, you're gonna need uh, yung consistency talaga. And yeah. So it's kind of like a bit of both, as with all answers involving psychology. Motivation is important, but as for whether or not it's going to be like um, the only thing that you can rely on, it's very unreliable. I think it's very unreliable. Because sometimes, if you don't have any motivation whatsoever, na, then the weeks come by, and then at the end of the year, you ended up with like just one setup. Sorry, one set of setups. Man lang. Parang, so motivated today. Oh, gotta get those six pack abs. Stops you do do like three sets of sit ups and then for the few next few days sobrang sakit na. And you just don't do it anymore. Try to watch Simon's next videos to get some points regarding motivation. Yeah. I am such a big fan of Simon Sinek that I have like three of his books and I have a snake plant that I named literal Simon Sinek. <laughs> I know, shut up. He's a very healthy boy, and he's been growing. Pero uh, sabi ko nga, and I guess even those books would say nga, start with why, yes. But uh, I guess that's how I came to the conclusion or yung idea nga naman na you need this really strong conviction. You're going to need yung really strong conviction to keep, you know, to keep yourself motivated, to keep yourself motivated enough lang siguro to keep you going. And then at some point, habit and discipline and and yung conviction mo will be able to see you through those difficult times na naman. Because at the end of the day, I think it was Simon Sinek's tagline na you want to imagine a world where you can, everyone is uh, feeling safe and fulfilled and looking forward to go to work the next day or to do what they do the next day. Which is the ideal, pero not everyone has the luxury of doing that. If it were that way nga naman, edi, wow, I would love to live in that world. I wish lang na more and more companies would be that way, but you know how it is. What do you think of Spider's motivation? Um, 
it is incredibly powerful. I know this is probably like one of the worst people I can quote, pero uh, <laughs> I think I still remember Ramon Bautista, yung uh, how to get. Parang parang yung yung alamun tna yung title. Like, can I someone put it in the comments? Ano yung title alit no? Na parang paano uh, paano ka get over sa ex mo? Parang ganon. One of yung yung strongest reasons daw kasi is you're going to think of all the things that was shitty about yung ex mo or yung the, per- the person the people who hurt you and to be honest it kind of works because uh, at, after some time give it like two to three months after say a breakup or whatever rejection you experience you're going to experience what is called yung fading affect bias uh, sim- simply explained all the bad things that you felt before about the person starts to not be so so bad. You start to feel like it wouldn't be so bad to try to get back together with the person. And that's because you've already spent some time apart from the person and it seems like para medyo okay naman. And maging mas naging overpowering yung feeling that you just don't want to be alone, you just want to be with the person again. You start to see the person na parang ooh, shiny, parang ooh, I really want to be with that person again. It's great. But it doesn't remove the fact, or it doesn't take away from the fact that the shitty parts are just really shitty. But <laughs> so it's there. Um, I think that spite as motivation is very strong, but you're going to have to develop some other things then along the way so that you'd be able to really make a change. I know, ang cheesy pakinggan, <laughs> but. As with most things with motivation, kasi medyo may pagka temporary yung uh, yung will mo to do it. We'll probably be talking about willpower in another episode, but um, let's just say na very strong yung yung ano mo yung like for example use anger or spite talaga for a while. But after some time, it kind of wanes. Eh. Unless suguro sobrang laki nun, yung trauma nun, or yung nangyari na yun. But it is going to get Nilman sa better, but it's not going to feel as powerful. Yung yung emotion na yun. So if that wanes, shempre magguin din yung motivation to do whatever. And so like one of the biggest ways or the most effective ways nga daw to get over someone is to constantly remind yourself of why they were a shitty person. It can drive you, as with all things, naman uh, they can drive you. Anything can be motivation, but whether or not yung mismong ginagawa mo na yun is going to stay and stick with you is going to depend on yung conviction. I think conviction definitely, uh, and yung consistency, because at some point you're gonna get habit na mapapasok na jan, and then it'll feel off that you're not doing it. If that makes sense, and I think in the long run, motivation is consistently going to be a very very important topic. I mean, it's a textbook pa lang, eh, ng industrial organizational psychology. That's something I'm a little passionate about. Na motivation is there. Employee morale is there. Diba? Parang among other things na, for example, favorite ko talaga yung leadership, yung chapter on leadership. I don't know how many times I've read that. Um, but motivation, employee morale is going to be there. Why do you think may isang department employee engagement? I guess that's all for today. I mean, there's not much else to say about motivation uh, other than the fact that na na parang it's important. It's not, it's not everything, but it's going to be important to get you going. Sometimes there are ways to kind of go uh, to, to kind of replenish it, I guess. But it's incredibly difficult to just keep using that, and especially if it's the same exact reason again and again. Cannot go in, but like it's not that great of a motivation for those of you who joined us today well thanks for dropping by um i'm hoping that things will get better for me for everyone else out there and i honestly don't know if things will get better i hope things will get better and i definitely pray for everyone else's situations to get better that right now it's not a great time. I'm not gonna claim that I know how to to motivate people in this time of need and difficulty. 
but if you can, uh, be there for your friends. Uh, I think just making sure that you can still talk to them or you're still in contact with them will help a lot. Especially in just having people continue. Pa. He who rises with the wave does not sink, as they say. And there are some people out there that would not actively look for young help. So please do try to reach out to these people if you can. I'll just say hi, hello, how have you been? Because I feel like if there's anything that we can do and we have na in control, matayo, it's being there for each other. I know it sounds really cheesy, but I think it's like the easiest way to make sure that we all get out of this relatively okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for dropping by, um, and I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.